Hey guys, this is Mike. Uh, this is a short video making for my channel, which it, I haven't made rich videos for, and for Ubuntu Help Guy as well. It's just basically f uh, just featuring an app called E4Rat for all Linux users. Uh, there's a deb file for debbing based distros like this one, Ubuntu, and then there's a uh, the source code for the source code for all other distributions. Now this is a Dell Inspiron 530. Nothing special about it. Uh, as you can see, Ubuntu 1010, 10, 4 gigs of RAM, uh, Intel Core 2 Duo. Nothing special there. Uh, startup applications. I have some technology like Bluetooth that I don't use. This is not a laptop. Check for drivers. Everything's installed properly. Evolution, I haven't installed it. Uh, let's see, remote desktop, don't use it uh, that much. So I have it set off uh, from the boot. Uh, updater, I do that manually in visual assistance while I'm not exactly impaired. So, okay, this does not have an SSD. Let me just go ahead and pull that information up for you. This is just your regular old magnetic disks. As you can see, 500 gigabyte hard drive. As you can see, 500. Ata, this is healthy, smart. You wouldn't see that information on a SSD. Now, uh, like I said, this is basically just to show off how fast this reduces your boot time. Um, it is really, really great. Uh, it reduced it very uh, considerably from almost a minute and a half to almost 30 seconds, so more than a minute. Now I'm going to go ahead and here's a stopwatch. Let me just have it turned on. Now I'm not going to press start. I'm not going to press start while it's here on the Dell screen because that's post. Even if I had an SSD, that will always take the same amount of time for that little blue bar to get fill up and start with the actual system. And we're off. I press the button. There's a clock running. Okay, it's going to say E4 RAT preload. It's going to be scanning the files. I'm going to get back to it because this is going to be really, really quick. As you can see, it's still running. As soon as my desktop is up, yes, I have it on auto login because I'm the only one that uses this PC. That's it. Hard drive stopped. I stopped the watch. Hard drive makes no more sound. My desktop is fully functional. I can go ahead now and just uh, open up a Firefox real quick. And there you go. That is the time it took. 27.3 seconds after post, which is the Dell, like I said. That's always going to take the same amount of time. Now, my next video, I'm going to go ahead and put... Um, the instructions, the website, what you need to do, some things I learned the hard way uh, on how to get this up and running. But in the meantime, you can always just Google it. Uh, there are a couple of websites out there. There's even a section of it on Lifehacker. Yeah, I don't know if you watch their videos or uh, read their website, but they also have a section on it as well, uh, up to date. Uh, although there's another website, the one we're going to be covering is a little bit more into detail. But thank you very much. I hope you like this video. This is just another option to get your system booting up faster. Uh, one more thing, this will not work on SSDs. That's why. Also, I made that. Uh, I pointed out that my drive is not an SSD, uh, and will not work on any other file system that is not EXT4. Okay, so keep that in mind. And lastly, please contact your congressman. Um, senators and please tell them to vote against SOPA we don't need that bill to pass and if you can support the blackout in the next couple of days let the world hear you out thank you